Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to download and install PostgreSQL along with PG Admin. So let's get started. So first thing just go to Google and type PostgreSQL download. You will be getting the first link PostgreSQL.org download. Just click here and here we will be having the options to download for different operating system. This video is going to be for Windows so I will just click on Windows. And if you scroll down, we'll be having the different versions of PostgreSQL. And at the top, you'll be having the download the installer option. Click here. And this will give us the different versions for Linux, Mac, and Windows. And we are going to do it for Windows. So let me go with the latest version. And the download will be getting started. It is about 363 MB in size. So just be patient till then. Once the download is complete, just double click and open it and you'll be getting the PostgreSQL setup. Just click here next. And this is going to be the location where PostgreSQL is gonna get installed. If you want to change this, you can just click on this and change it. So once you choose your location, just click on next. And make sure that you are checking all these four checkboxes. So we are gonna install PostgreSQL server, PG admin, stack builder command line tools. So don't uncheck any of these and just click on next. And this is going to be the data directory. This is fine. Don't mess around with that. Just click on next. And here is the most important thing. You need to enter the password and make sure that you are remembering this password, okay? So let me just type my password. Just click on next. And this is going to be the default port. I will leave it to the default one. Next. And this is fine. Next. And just click on next. Yeah, the installation is ready. Just click on next. That's it, it will take some time for the setup to install. Once it is done, there will be a checkbox saying Stack Builder may be used to download and install additional tools. So just check this and click on finish. And this is a Stack Builder thing. And if you just click on this and select PostgreSQL and just click on next. And you can just download many add-on tools. For example, we can download these. So these are like kind of drivers and plugins. If you want, you can just add it out. So this is just optional. For now, let's just close this. Yeah, just click on yes. Now if you just go to search and type PG, you'll be having this PG admin 4. Just click on open. So you'll be getting an interface like this, PG admin management tool for PostgreSQL. And to the left, you'll be having this service option. Just expand this and it will ask you to enter the password. You need to enter the password which you entered while installing PostgreSQL. So let me enter mine. And make sure that you're checking this save password so that you don't want to like re-enter it again and again. And just click on OK. And now you'll be getting these options. One is databases, login roles, and table spaces. So let me just expand databases. By default, we'll be having the Postgres database automatically created. So if you want us to create a new DB, right click on database, click on create database. And here, just name your database. Let me go with demo DB. And you can just modify the definition, security, the other parameters. And we'll also be getting a SQL query, okay? So basically we are creating the database through this interface. So if you want to create it to a query, you can just run this query, that's up to you. And I'll just click on save. And here you can see, I'll be having my demo DB over here. And now let's see how we can create a table in our demo DB. So under schemas, we will be having option called as public. And under that we'll be having tables. So if I expand it, uh, nothing will be there because we are haven't created any tables. So if you want to create a table, there are two ways. One is right clicking this and just click on create table. Here you will be able to specify the table name and add the columns and its data types. If you click add, you can just add a name and you can just select the data type and you can just click on save. The table will be getting created. So this is the one way, let's click on yes. Another way is going to be through writing queries. So we'll be writing an SQL query over here. So to get the interface to write a query, right click on the database itself and you'll be having this query tool. So we will be getting a space to write our query. So I already have my query ready. Just a normal SQL query to create a table. So for running this, you'll be having execute script, run it. So I'm getting query returned successfully and just go to your uh, demo DB database, right click and refresh so that we are getting the table in our schemas. So now if you go to schemas and if you go to tables, here you can see I'm having the 
table named student and if i go to columns i am having name and id exact same thing that we gave over here so which means that our postgresql is working fine so that's the video guys do check the playlist of my channel done a lot of videos in programming mysql queries mongodb queries cred operations ai tutorials open ai gemini ai apis so check the playlist of my channel subscribe me thanks for watching